Hey guys, Sad and here, and today I'm gonna be showing you first what we're gonna do today. It will be a login system with file writing and reading, so basically we create an account. So I'm gonna make a presentation first. Um, we try to log in with false data, it says false login. Okay, so now we're gonna register first. Username hazard edit. Password. And now I'm gonna log in because I can. Because right here it created the file with the login data. There we go. Successfully logged in. And we can see the file right here with my username and my password. Okay, so let's get started right away. Project. I uh, console application. Login or C plus plus login system tut. There we go. Next uh, console application empty project. Next. right click on your project right here and add a new element which will be a C++ file a .cpp file and let's call it main add so right here we see the empty C++ file I'm gonna zoom in a bit and we will start off with a few includes so first include will be IO stream for outputting text. There we go. Second include will be the F stream. F stream so we can write and read out files. And next one will be string. There we go. So next using namespace using names space std and first comes a boolean boo is log logged in so right here we try to uh, clarify if you are logged in or not so if it was successful or not and lower spaced uh, n right here so first we ask for the username to be entered enter username there we go and I forgot to string usernames password UN and PV. PV. Uh, these will be the comparison strings. CN. Uh, username. Next will be C out. Uh, enter password and the password will not be hidden so everybody will be able to see the password while you're typing it in so <coughs> next we want to have the password assigned and there it goes with the if stream if stream read so basically, right here you see already, read is the variable for our stream. And right here we put the data. This is uh, the folder inside the folder the program is. Plus username plus dot txt. So basically the file name is username is the username you just typed in. So we're looking for that. 
Next, we want to get line. This is basically the read line, but you use it differently from C sharp. So read, this is the if stream variable read. So we're using this file and basically we are reading it. And right here comes what we assign the first line to is un because the username will go first. Next, get line, read, pv. Basically the same thing, just for the password, we're reading the next line. And now comes the comparison. So if un is equal equal to username and double end for both conditions to be true. PV is equal equal password. We return a true. If not, we return a false. There we go. So this will be our bool is locked in. I don't know if that's too big, but better to see better. So next comes the int main, the main function of your, oops, the main function of your <coughs> class. So this is where it starts. So int choice for the choice where we want to register because we will have a register function right here where we want to register where you want to just log in so one is register and new line two is login and another new line your you know, right here your choice there we go and see in choice so let me scroll down a bit if choice is equal equal to one so basically we want to register first we string a username, a pass password, C out, select a username. Oh, sorry guys. There we go. C out the username, C in username copy this same goes for password password and I forgot this right here okay so next off stream so if stream was reading a file off stream is creating a file file and the file open data plus username plus dot txt it doesn't have to be a txt it can be any just as usual so we write to the file First, the username, username, end of line. So basically, new, new line there. We could also no, we can't. We could. Um, there we go. Password, and we close the file. I could have it in, oops, in one block right here and for some reason this is giving me an error because I didn't say file open okay and we return to main 
right here. So after we've registered, we can go ahead and register another one or go ahead and log in now. <coughs> so else if choice is equal equal to two. Oops. We bool status. This is our new boolean right here. So this is the status of is logged in. So basically what we're doing here is we're creating a bool which is status and this uh, says to the program that it has to go to is logged in right here and do this first before we continue. So if status so if it's true well, let's do not true then we want to see out false login login end of line system Pause and return zero after that. Because we're having an int right here, we have to return an int. And basically zero is an int. Else that's strain, no it's not. See out Success fully logged in. There we go. End of line system equals equal pause. And right here I return one. So basically, if we want to proceed, then we're looking if this int main returns 1 or 0. If it returns 1, we continue. If not, we close the program. This is what we could do else. So I'm going to zoom out so you see the code a, a bit in general. Maybe to see if you have any uh, differences, errors, or something like that. Then I'm going to run the code, uh, the program. Yes, so I'm going to open up the directory this in first before I type anything to to the program. I said C plus login system top. I'm not sure if it's this one or this one. Okay, I'm not sure. It's this one. So first C C let's try this now. It should it should be working because I have done this already. There are a few test files right here while I was testing. Because I test uh what I do before I do a tutorial on that. Test test one two three there you see, it just created one for me. And now, this is something with the folders. And now we go, my choice is login test, test one, two, three. You successfully logged in, there you go. So this was just with uh, the folder right here. Maybe, oh yeah, of course, I had to create data first. So yeah, I thank you for watching guys and see you guys next time, peace out.